The University of Rhode Island Rams finish the game on a 7-0 run. They hit their last three field goals, and they get the victory tonight to move to 3-1. 70-65 the final over Nichols State. Welcome back, folks, inside the Ryan Center. A great crowd tonight, a great atmosphere, and a good win for URI. And this is the type of game you need. Tightly contested the whole way, especially in this non-conference play, getting battle tested against a good Nichols State team. We knew this was going to be a tough contest for URI this way with how Nichols State, how tenacious they are defensively. And we saw it, a tie game with three and a half minutes left. URI gets the big buckets when they need them to pull away for a huge victory as they're off to Jamaica. Yeah, it wasn't always pretty. Both teams combining for 31 turnovers tonight, but the Rams get the better of it and they walk away with the victory. Let's take a look at some of the highlights tonight. And it was a good night in the second half for three-point shooting for the visiting Nichols State. They went three of nine in the second half after going one of 10 in the first half. Here's some highlights from URI, though. A dunk from Tyrese Martin. That put Rhode Island within striking distance, but the lead pass up ahead to Jermaine Harris, who had a great night tonight. 10 points for URI and four rebounds. You want that consistency for Jermaine Harris, but right there, Fats Russell, 24, left the game in the first half with an injury when he came back, and Jermaine Harris, get up there, big fella. That's what you need from him, establishing his body underneath. Jermaine with 10 points, Fats with 24, 10 points for Surreal Angevine and a double-double, but Alatiche had himself a great night. The best game of his young season, 17 points, 8 of 13 shooting. 10 rebounds to go with it. He was a force underneath, especially in that second half with the absence of Surreal Langevine, even when Langevine was in there. Still got some big buckets for Nichols State. That's Russell had a couple acrobatic plays, too. Again, his 24 points was a game high, 7 of 16 shooting. Nichols State led as much as 7 points in the second half, but Rhodey would not give up. This was a 3-point ball that put Rhode Island up by 1. 62-60 at that point. Extra pass from Jeff Doughton. And late in the game, Doughton, Langevin connection, the two seniors, tremendous. Langevin played most of the second half with four fouls, an impressive outcome. This is the big play, though. This put Rhode Island over the edge. Fats Russell in transition after the steal. Another acrobatic finish. Rhode Island gets the victory tonight in Kingston. A fantastic crowd, a great outcome. And Tyler, you mentioned it, a close game. Doesn't matter who you're playing against. It proves that your team can play down the stretch. And Nichols State, they came into this year as a relative unknown losing three starters off a team that lost 11 conference games last year. Picked 11th in the Southland preseason poll. This is a battle-tested team with a lot of experience and a young head coach, and they're going to make some moves this year. The University of Rhode Island and Nickel State, they'll both head to Jamaica for the Jersey Mike's Jamaica Classic. We're staying here in Rhode Island. It won't be much uh, warmer here, though, I would <laughs> assume. 70-65 to 65 the final tonight. Rhode Island with the victory. For our whole crew here at your view, for Tyler Davey, I'm Stone Freeman signing out the Rams victorious tonight and move on to 3-1. We'll see you folks around town.